Sean? Hey, Kelvin. Uh, congratulations on the recent run of success. Um, can you talk about the team's mentality right now with three games coming up over seven days and the playoff battle is really starting among, especially among the teams that you're about to play? Yeah. Uh, talk about the team mood right now and what you're expecting on Saturday from Columbus. Um, the mood is good, actually. Um, we were down. Uh, we were down a lot this this season because we've lost a lot of games in the beginning. But you know how it goes; it's a long season, and everything can change quickly in the, in MLS. Um, so uh, right now, um, we have a good run, but there's uh, still a long way to go. And um, we know that um, we're gonna play uh, some uh, some of the the better teams. Uh, in the in the coming weeks, so it's it's gonna be more difficult. But um, at least uh, we've gained we, we we won the points that we needed to win, and we put ourselves in a better position. So um, the the confidence that we gained from these games will will help us a lot. Next question, Franco. Then we'll go to Lauren. Hi, hey, Kelvin. It's uh, good to see you in in person. Because every <laughs> every time we've just gotten yeah. close to getting you in person, yeah. we've gone back to Zoom. Feels like uh, that. <laughs> um, defensively, how have you guys prepared? For, for Columbus this week. Um, obviously a team that likes to have possession, very good technical players in that in that midfield. So how have you guys defensively prepared and also taking into consideration that Lucas Alarayan has been very good this season on, on free kicks. I think he's he's closing in on the record for individual goals from a free yeah. kick. So how have you guys prepared for Columbus defensively? Thank you. Well, for sure, you, you've pointed out there, uh, the name already, Lucas uh, Zalarayan is a very, very good player. Um, played him uh, in the final last year and um, yeah, it's 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 difficult, you know. Good players always will find a way to to impact the game, and he's one of the, in my opinion, one of the better players in the league. So, but uh, this week, until now, we've just focused most on um, how we can hurt them, because we also have to think about ourselves. And there are some opportunities that we that we can get in the game, but obviously you have to be aware that they have they have really good good players from uh, from back to front. So, um, and they've also been in the. Actually, they're now in a situation that we have been in uh, a lot uh, in this season. So, um, yeah, they will, f they will try to find the, the way to, to get out of the situation. And for us, we want to keep the momentum going. And we know it's going to be difficult, but because uh, a team that's that's struggling, you know, it only takes uh, the next game to change to change everything. And that's what they are hoping for. And we have to be aware that it's going to be a very, very difficult game because they have a very, very good play. I think. Uh, at the start of the season, I had them at the top of my list uh, as the best team, so uh, we cannot underestimate them. Next question, Lauren. Thank you. And the defense has been exceptional, back-to-back -back clean sheets. Phil yeah. has emphasized how well you guys have been playing. What is the difference, or how have you guys really come together as a defensive line? Um, it's very difficult to explain. We changed formations, so... I think uh, maybe that has some some uh, some effect on uh, on the way, and I think everything is more clear from the team now because defending defense start up top with uh, Gonzalo or or Juli if he's playing. So defense starts uh, in front, and when everybody is doing their work, everything uh, becomes easier for us. And um, and I think also you need some luck. Nick Nick made some good saves, especially in the Orlando game. I think that point we earned over there is yeah at least seventy percent. <laughs> Uh, comes from him because uh, he made a, a good save at the end of the game also that uh, that get us a point. So um, I think everything is falling in the right place right now. And um, um, yeah, I, I think we can still use a little bit of luck that uh, that we didn't have in the in the beginning of the season. And it's falling up our, our way right now. And let's keep it going that way. We'll go back to Michelle and then Franco. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about Nick? <laughs> and what he's brought the team, and I think you speak some Dutch with him, right? Some, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Just talk about the relationship. You, you know, just even the, just the language that you guys share, and uh, and what yeah. do you think he's brought the team? Well, I've I, I know Nick for a long time, so I know him from the Netherlands. He's a very good, I would say, football player instead of a goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very good with his feet. That gives him an extra option in in uh, in building up because you, you as, I think as you guys notice, uh, teams. They don't press a lot anymore like they did in the beginning of the season because he's just an extra player for us and he will find the opening. So they are a little bit, they wait a little bit more uh, with pressing. So that gives us uh, a lot more confidence in building up. And you see that we uh, that we control games a little bit better right now. Obviously, he's a goalkeeper and he needs to make big saves and that's what he's been doing for us. 
and I think he has the record now with uh, two clean sheets in a row, I believe. So um, I'm happy for him. Um, basically, he's a little bit part of my family. <laughs> and um, yeah, we do a lot together. So um, it's good to have a, a good guy around. How well did you know him? I mean, tell us a little about your relationship. We played in the national team together. Um, we, had, we played the European Championship together. So that means you're stuck at least two months <laughs> with each other. So um, yeah, he's, and he's only one of the goalkeepers I've ever switched jerseys with in the Netherlands. So um, I think, yeah, he was the only one until I uh, met the goalkeeper from uh, uh, Columbus, which I played with also. So um, um, yeah, he's a, he's a very good guy, nice guy, and uh, I'm happy he's around. Franco? Kelvin, as, as one of the two players that's played right wing back for this team um, during this stretch, what is it that Phil asks of you tactically out from, from that spot? Obviously, you have to do your defensive duties yeah. and responsibilities, but you also get forward. What, what does he want from that position um, when, when, when you're out there or when Lewis is out there? Um, me personally, I haven't played right, right wing back as much um, this season. Um, um, since we switched to the the three in the back, I've played more centrally instead of uh, right wing back. But um, he wants us to think um, offensively in that position, which I like because when I was in Seattle, basically we played the same system. It was a four. It was a four two three one. But when we had possession, um, uh, the fullbacks in Seattle always stay high, and uh, and the midfielders stay with the center back. So it basically becomes the same. And personally, I like it because. I like to play offense. I like to get into the box of the opponent, and it gives us opportunities to affect the game a different way. As I said, um, the mindset just changed for you. Um, instead of uh, chasing the winger, the winger, you can let him chase you. So that brings a lot of freedom and um, and a lot of joy because uh, when you when you're young, the only thing you want to do is attack, score goals, and and be important for your team. And for me. That's the that's that what bring that's what brings me the most fun as a, as a football player. So basically, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, thank you, Kelvin. Thank and you, thank guys. You I'm happy to see today. you guys in person. Bye.